So you might be wanting to go ahead and basically reset your keyboard on your iPhone. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you modified your keyboard of some sort, or maybe you went ahead and added a bunch of replacement text, and you basically wanted you know, to get it into stock configuration. Now, to do this, it's actually very basic. The very first thing you want to do is you can always change your keyboard by going through and holding down this emoji on the bottom left. If you have another keyboard associated, you can always go there. But you can always jump straight inside of your keyboard settings by clicking on keyboard settings right here. Now, if you don't know how to get here, basically it's inside of your settings application in general, then you can go and click on keyboard right here. And then once you're in the general placement, what you can do here is you can go and click on keyboards and you have a few options here. You can go ahead and click on the edit button up here and you can delete a keyboard or you can just at least come up here and you can change your keyboard, but you can delete a keyboard if you want to by clicking the edit button. You can also add a new keyboard if you want to, and you can add a new language. But coming back out here, a big thing that a lot of people do, or a lot of people want to do, is to go ahead and replace the text or delete the replacements of their text. So what they can do here is click text replacement, and any of those things in which they went ahead and like did, oh, you know, like FYI in this you know case for your information, OMW on my way, things like that, you can actually go ahead and pretty much fix that or you know remove them by clicking the edit button on the bottom left and then removing them as they come up here. So that's another thing you can do and I'd probably recommend doing it that way as well. Now, if you can always go through and any of these options natively as soon as you buy an iPhone, all these are enabled on. So you can go ahead and copy them as I have them on you know my iPhone to yours. And um, you know if they end up working you know on your site too, then you can go and change them. But this is stock natively how they come, you know, as soon as you buy an iPhone. And at the bottom, the emoji stickers, I usually have kept this on. I'll just go and turn this off. It's kind of annoying. But those are pretty much the main stock settings and basically how to reset your keyboard on your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.